Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we some more Call of Duty World War 2, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you guys the secret to getting a ton of armory credits in a hurry, so you can hopefully have a huge pile saved up for every time a new event is released. Some people will tell you that the secret to getting armory credits quickly is to set a timer and collect as much payroll as possible. Other people will tell you that the secret is to log in every single day and hope for that huge login bonus, and while both those are very good tips, the real secret is to simply not play the game, or or at least in the traditional sense. So, as most of you guys know, I have been moving over the course of the past week. And I'm finally all settled in. I have my new office set up. And while I was moving, I did an experiment to accurately gauge something that I've been doing for about a month now. The entire time I was moving, I was also AFK in the headquarters simply doing jumping jacks. Which is something I'm sure you guys have seen a lot. Like, every time you go into the headquarters, there are people there doing jumping jacks. Well, that is actually the secret to getting a ton of armory credits here in Call of Duty World War. Too. While hanging out in the headquarters, people will open up supply drops around you, and being near somebody who is opening a supply drop can randomly give you one of four bonuses. Now keep in mind, this does not happen every single time, it is random, but every time a supply drop is opened near you, you can get a small amount of experience, you can get a free supply drop, you can get some armory credits, which is the focus of this video, and you can also get some social score. In fact, that is how I found out about this. I didn't watch a video that taught me this or anything, I just knew that AFKing in the head quarters was pretty much the only way that you could get your social score up to max rank before Black Ops 4 came out. So about a month or so ago, I started doing this and I quickly found that this was an incredible source of not only social score, but also armory credits, which is why I had so many of them ready to go for the Attack of the Undead event, as well as the Liberty Strike event. If you're wondering about social score, I'm pretty close to maxing mine out. Like this is the best way by far to get easy armory credits, as well as up your social score, if that is something that you're looking to do. Now, of course, the these will just be rough numbers because daily login bonuses differ day to day, but on July 4th, when I really started my move, I had 74,183 armory credits to my name. This afternoon on July 9th, which is five days later, I now have 96,503 armory credits to my name, and the vast majority of that was simply just from AFKing in the headquarters. During this time, I had five daily login bonuses, which I will average out to 375 apiece, and I did collect roughly 10 payrolls as a master prestige so in total i received about 4875 credits from daily logins and payrolls over the course of the past five days that means that the other 17,500 credits all came from the headquarters which gives me an average of 3,500 free armory credits per day simply by hanging out in the headquarters itself when i wasn't actually playing the game right if you take that and you multiply that over 30 days we're looking at over 100,000 free armory credits per Per month, not including the ones that you get from supply drops. So a couple of months ago, I decided to do another experiment where I tracked all of my armory credit intake for an entire week. The goal of this experiment was to see whether or not it was actually worth it to spend your armory credits on the supply drop contracts over at the Quartermaster. Now, full disclosure, this was a couple of months ago, and they have changed up the system a little bit since then, but I think the results are pretty much going to be the same. So my experiment itself was I wanted to see how much I spent on these supply drop contracts every single day, and then compare that to what I got out of the supply drops themselves. And I found that it was worth it, but a lot of luck was involved. There were days where I would end up losing 500 armory credits on buying up those supply drop contracts. There'd be other days where I would gain 1500 armory credits or I would gain 70 or lose 200 or so on and so forth. And at the end of the week, I ended up with a net positive of 484 armory credits. Now, of course, supply drops are completely random and one week's worth of data is likely going to be very different than another week's worth of data. But just using what I collected from one week and multiplying that by four, that means I may be able to expect a net positive of 1,936 armory credits per month from duplicates from my supply drops, which is obviously not ideal. This is why I went into every single event with barely any credits whatsoever, and why I was so confused when people were constantly telling me that credits are easy to come by in this game, and you can just buy all the collections 
out right with all of your armory credits. It turns out that the majority of these people were likely just AFKing in the headquarters this entire time because the amount of free credits you get per day is pretty much the same as the amount of credits I was going to get per month back in May from supply drop duplicates. So that's my recommendation to you guys. If you want to have a bunch of supply drops and a bunch of credits saved up for each new event, be sure to do your contracts as often as possible and do the ones that you like doing. There's no sense in really grinding out hardcore contracts if you don't like hardcore or grinding out team deathmatch contracts if you hate team deathmatch. You don't have to do every single one of them, but do a couple of them per day. Save up your supply drops. Be sure to go over to Major Howard every day as well because chances are he'll have at least one order that will give you 300 armory credits. Obviously, keep up your daily login bonus. Obviously, check your payroll as much as possible. But above all else, when you're not using your console, pop yourself into the headquarters, go stand in a high traffic area where people like to open up their supply drops, start doing jumping jacks, open up your menu, go to custom games, and park yourself right in the map selection screen. This, for some reason, tricks the game into thinking you're not AFK, though there are some downsides to this method. I have noticed that some days it will just be working all day perfectly. Like, I'll pop myself into the headquarters, and I'll go and start working on videos and stuff like that, and I won't get kicked whatsoever. But other times, it will still kick you for an activity. Sometimes you'll lose connection to the host, and other times there will be an update for the game that will force you to restart. So it's best to check in on your console every now and then just to make sure your character is actually still in the headquarters. And keep in mind that headquarters are indeed region locked, right? So that means that the peak hours for your region are typically the best time to actually have your character in the headquarters. Like 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. is the best time to get a ton of credits or free supply drops or levels or social score or anything like that. Whereas times like 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., there are still people in the headquarters, but not nearly as much and they're not nearly as active as the players that were playing during the day, right? So just keep that in mind. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys here in this video. I hope this tip helped out those of you who did not know about it. And hopefully this will result in even more of you being able to get all the new weapons for this event as well as having enough saved up for the weapons of the next event. Like I mentioned earlier, I am now finished moving. My office is set up and things are all ready to go. So expect a ton of videos to come out in the coming days and throughout the rest of the summer. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section below. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.